All we want from our smartphones is the best possible display, the most advanced camera technology, and longer battery life. When we have more choices, that's when we get confused. But not this time. Hello friends, welcome back to Ultimate Unboxing. Here in today's video, we'll be providing you with a detailed comparison of two recently released smartphones, the Moto Edge 30 and the Samsung S22. Get set and make sure you watch the video till the end. So first, let's start with Moto Edge 30 Ultra. In our first experience with Moto Edge 30 Ultra, it appeared to be one of Samsung's S22 series phones. It has a sleek design and feels light in quality. The phone lives up to its name with a genuine edge display and minimum boundaries all around. The phone is well built, having a sandwich glass body separated by an aluminum frame. On the front and back sides, Gorilla Glass 5 was used. Despite the glass body, the back side is not slippery or prone to smudges. On the back, there is an island frame with three camera lenses and a flash. The front of the phone features a large display with a punch hole selfie sensor that takes up very little space. In addition, the earpiece, which also serves as a secondary speaker, is located just above the display. The power button and volume rockers are located on the phone's right side, while the left side is totally blank. The SIM tray, Type-C port, and main speaker are all located on the phone's bottom. The phone has an IP52 rating to protect it from water and dust, which is disappointing to see in a flagship phone given IP52 certified phones are available even in the cheap level. The new Moto Edge 30 Ultra features a 6.67-inch OLED screen with a resolution of 1080 by 2400 pixels. The screen is expansive and the bezels are so small that they cannot be seen. The screen features a 20 to 9 aspect ratio and 309 PPI density. With a refresh rate of 144 Hz, the phone surpasses its rivals when playing games requiring a quick touch reaction. It has a peak brightness of 1,250 nits, allowing you to view any information on the screen clearly and effortlessly, even in direct sunlight. The presence of HDR10 Plus support improves the viewing experience by delivering HD quality content. The colors displayed are really vibrant and punchy, and each hue on the screen was rendered with great precision. The new Moto Edge 30 Ultra operates on Android 12 and includes numerous intelligent features. The phone's gesture feature is particularly sophisticated, since it can be used to access the camera app and the flashlight even when the phone is locked. The new Moto Edge 30 Ultra also includes the Ready for feature, which was introduced by the business in 2021 and allows the device to be connected to a TV or monitor, allowing you to view your material on a larger screen. The Motorola Edge 30 Ultra is equipped with the newest and most powerful Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. We have previously utilized this processor, and just as before, it provides a flawless experience when executing any activity. Adreno 730 GPU was utilized for graphics by the manufacturer. The top settings of the games performed quite smoothly, and the 144Hz refresh rate enhances the gaming experience. The Motor Edge 30 Ultra features a 200 megapixel Samsung Morse Power, one primary rear lens with an aperture of 1.9, PDAF, and OIS as one of its most notable features. The company utilized a 12 megapixel telephoto lens with a 1.6 aperture and 2x optical zoom. The third rear sensor is a 50 megapixel ultra wide lens with a 2.2 aperture and 114 degrees field of view. The company has installed a 60 megapixel lens with an F2.2 aperture and an Omnivision OV60, a sensor for selfies. All of the primary rear camera lens is 200 megapixel. The default image resolution is 12.5 megapixel. The photographs acquired during the day were exceptionally sharp and brilliant. You can also switch to a 200 megapixel lens, which we do not recommend using if you want to capture photographs rapidly because it takes a few seconds and demands steady hands. The battery capacity of the new Moto Edge 30 Ultra is 4,610 mAh, which is less than that of the OnePlus flagship smartphone. The battery lasted an entire day with usual use, such as watching movies and playing video games. The charging rate is extremely rapid, since the 125-watt charger charges the battery from 0% to 100% in approximately 30 to 35 minutes. While charging is rapid, it is not as rapid as that of the OnePlus 10T. Also, the phone seems to get a touch warm while charging, which we did not appreciate because the other flagship phone we used within the same price range kept the temperature very well. 
The charge distribution is sluggish because of the most recent 8 Plus Gen 1 processor. Additionally, the phone supports wireless charging at 50 watts and reverse charging at 10 watts. Now let's get to know everything about Samsung's 22. The Galaxy S22 Ultra features an 8-inch AMOLED screen and vision booster technology. This, as the name implies, enhances colors and brightness in low-light circumstances or when using the phone on a really bright day. The maximum brightness of the S22 Ultra is 1,750 nits, which is greater than the iPhone 13 Pro on paper. The S22 Ultra boasts a curved 6.8-inch display, giving it a sophisticated look and feel. Additionally, it offers a 120 Hz refresh rate, which has become the industry standard in recent years. There is something to be said about the display of the S22 Ultra. Is it the greatest we have? It is difficult to say, but it contributes significantly to the whole experience of this phone, especially when viewing movies or browsing Twitter. The Galaxy S22 Ultra is available in Phantom Black, Burgundy, and White. We was sent with a Phantom Black evaluation device that is elegant and durable. The front and back of the phone are protected against scratches with Gorilla Glass Victus Plus and an aluminum frame. Due to the enormous 6.8-inch display, the phone weighs 229 grams and appears enormous in the hand. The device is powered by Android 12 and Samsung's One UI 4.1. In my everyday software usage, we encountered absolutely no troubles. There was no lag, and everyday operation was swift and fluid. Samsung has reportedly promised four years of security patches and five years of Android updates. The S22 Ultra is equipped with four cameras, a 108-megapixel primary camera with an of 1.8 aperture, a 12-megapixel ultra-wide camera with an of 2.2 aperture, and two 10-megapixel telephoto cameras with 3x and 10x optical zoom. It would be a stretch to compare the Galaxy S22 Ultra's camera performance to that of my Google Pixel 4a 5G. The results made me question Google's post-processing software, which is clearly superior to those of Samsung and Apple's iPhones. The S22 Ultra produced crisper, brighter, and cleaner images. Even while using the night mode, we was occasionally unable to distinguish between the photographs captured by the S22 Ultra and the S22. However, in general, the images captured by the S22 Ultra are sharper. The S22 Ultra packed a great deal more detail in portrait mode. The 10x zoom capability is not a gimmick because you receive cleaner processed photographs, even if there is a great deal of noise in the viewfinder before you press the shutter button. In low light conditions, we had superior results with the S22 Ultra. Although it might be claimed that Pixel was not far behind, the front facing camera of the Galaxy S22 Ultra has a 40 megapixel resolution and 2.2 aperture. This is where the S22 Ultra excels. Selfies were sharper and included more information, whilst the Pixel's colors appeared more realistic. S22 Ultra can record videos up to 8K resolution. Even if my Pixel could match the video performance of the S22 Ultra in daytime, the sound quality of the Ultra is simply outstanding. In addition, Samsung has equipped the camera with a multitude of capabilities, ensuring that it is not inferior to the iPhone 13 Pro and Pixel 6 Pro. Samsung's latest offering is a hybrid of the Note and Galaxy S phones. Unusually for the Galaxy S series, the S22 Ultra features a S Pen stylus that is dust and water resistant. Some individuals may mock Samsung's accessory S Pen. Nonetheless, it is useful in a variety of situations, and we must acknowledge that it is cool. The Galaxy S22 Ultra has a 5,000 mAh battery and supports up to 45 watt of fast charging and up to 15 watts of wireless charging. A larger smartphone does not generally have a larger battery capacity. However, the battery life of the Galaxy S22 Ultra is fairly decent. However, a word of caution. Despite the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 processor and Samsung's 4 nanometer manufacturing process, the phone seems to have heating difficulties and gets warmer. We tested the camera application by taking a few photographs and videos within a couple of minutes. The phone eventually became warm. The temperature rises when utilizing mobile data. The heating concerns may be a warning flag for some customers, as they are essentially identical to the experience with Samsung's Exynos processor. In addition, the S22 Ultra, which is powered by rapid charging with a 45-watt USB Type-C charger, heats up when charging. However, the heating concerns were somewhat remedied 
after we updated the phone to the March update, which featured a performance management feature based on device temperature, and do not limit CPU-GPU performance during early stages of gameplay, among other enhancements. Which one do you find better? Let us know in the comments below. That's all for today. Hope you enjoyed it. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.